Ni hao mao guys. So I watched the farewell recently and I've got some things popping up in my head that I wanted to talk about. I don't know if anyone's gonna watch this given how lesser known and unrecognized this film is. <coughs> Oscar snob. <coughs> but I do it for the passion, you know? So here it is. Solitude vs Solidarity. The visual and verbal display of duality in the farewell. When I started watching this movie, I realized that it was in both English and Zhongwen. Luckily for me, I know some Chinese. Not the bad to myself, I would say. <laughs> so I could understand what was being said, and enough to know that Aquafina clearly doesn't speak Chinese often. Hey, what's uh, But this bilingualism was definitely a deliberate but subtle way of highlighting the cultural difference between the West and the East. In this case, the medium of communication or how we converse. A case in point would be how Shaozi in Chinese, which means foolish child or stupid child, is said by an elder to someone younger. To those unfamiliar with the phrase, it can come across as derogatory or an insult. But in Eastern countries, it really isn't anything more than a lighthearted tease, often denoting love for the child. Which brings me to the point of how Asian parents or elders don't usually showcase their love directly. They do it very, very subtly or indirectly, as shown in a few scenes, like in this scene, where Billy's mom asks how many dumplings Billy wants, so Billy doesn't feel hungry. How many wontons you want? Five. Five? That's not enough. Make a dozen then. Ten's good. Okay. Or in this scene, where the mother complains about the father drinking to Nai Nai, it seems like she's angry but really she's more upset and worried about his health than anything. A subtle kind of love. Even for the father not smoking in front of Billy because he doesn't want to upset her. A kind of love as well. And Billy, how for the entire story, he carries this enormous conflict on his shoulders of whether or not to tell the truth or follow through with the lie, along with her grief and guilt, whilst putting up a joyful front for the sake of her parents and relatives. Again, a kind of selfless love. Besides bilingualism, the cultural distinction between the West and the East is displayed rather obviously in different people, or should I say different families. There's this dinner scene at a round table where different viewpoints about America and China is brought up. The duality is showcased by the families, we have Billy's family on the western side and the uncle's family on the eastern side. And in this scene, the duality of western solitude and eastern solidarity is spelled out bluntly. And if at first we thought that the lie is cruel or indifferent, we come to understand that it actually enables the sharing of grief and pain, which is actually a form of selfless love. I've noticed that Billy, in her internal conflict, is often framed apart from the rest of the family, like in this scene after her so-called argument with her mother, it is a visual representation of her solitude, how she is seemingly the only one who wants to tell the truth. And then, once Billy decides to follow through with the lie, she is framed alongside her entire family in this scene, and in this scene, as a show of solidarity. There are so many little things in this movie that makes it great, and there's these few lines in the movie that pinches your heart when you hear them, knowing the context of the lie and Nai Nai's imminent death. There is also a scene of Billy's grandpa disappearing, leaving a wisp of smoke, which really highlights how grandpa's passing came unexpectedly for Billy. And finally, the heartbreaking last scene, Nai Nai giving Billy a red packet, giving her last advice, Nai Nai insisting on sending Billy off. And as the taxi leaves, Nai Nai is seen waving goodbye, her hand over her mouth, as if she's about to break down, and falters a few steps back. All of these makes me feel like she knows she's about to die, that it's the last goodbye, and the mom finally crying, in silence, in secret just absolutely touching.